Boogie, the reason that I'm on you, the reason that everyone is on you is because you're funny and we want you to make money and we want to make money with you. Uh, you used to be great, but you can't stick to shit. I can stick to shit. That's how you make a good podcast. That's how you do all this internet stuff. You have to stick to it. Give the people what they want, man. Honestly, do a podcast with Vito where you guys both just talk about the food that you ate all week. Um, if you didn't do the show with me because of Maddox, I mean, that's dumb. Whatever, I don't care. Vito's prob Vito is a better co-host than you because he like gets the bit at all times. But whatever. Lastly, I will say, you goaded Frank Hassel into coming into your house. You called him a pussy, and then you shot at him. Fuck you. The worst day of my life, his quote, I mean, this is on the Ethan Ralph Show, coming to my house. The Ethan Ralph Show. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's what up? this fat idiot saying Dude. about me through his big teeth? Dude, so I, did you hear this yet? I'm sure you've heard it. <laughs> yeah, I, I listened to it before I got blocked. I really want to remix it. I want hundreds of remixes of this, how I'm a piece of shit uh, from can, Boogie. Can we just start it over? Hold on. What about the part? Uh, it's only two minutes. Let me just play hey, this. Hey, I don't know why Dick Masterson's yeah, like coming at me today. Has he not got the message that I'm irrelevant now? Like, you can't get asshole points for bullying me anymore. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, uh, everybody I likes to see. Yeah. I don't want points. I want that butthole, Boogie. Frank, Plus, ha Frank Hassel was on to you. He knows that sweet, <laughs> those sweet butt cheeks are where it's at. I want that treasure that's in, that's between your butt cheeks, buddy. <laughs> Plus, he's lying. Up. Everybody loves to see Boogie get beat on. That's not true. Yeah. <laughs> Even people that hate yeah, me love to see Boogie. Boogie get beat on. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, I mean, seriously. That's the thing he wants to do today. So I figured I'd... That's like an old-timey <laughs> pastime there. You know what I mean? Like, so I finally uh, set the record straight with this Maddox thing. So people are under the impression that one of two things are true. But here's the entire story. And you'll learn that multiple things can be true at the same time. It's fascinating. I know. But uh, he offered to do the podcast. I mean, you might me, listen to and this. And I considered it because I knew I was going to need the money. Maddox reached out to me and said, hey, man, don't do that. There's this whole legal thing over the name of the show. And I'm like, Maddox, for you, I won't do it unless he changes the name of the show. And I think at some point Dick might have said that he was willing to, but he obviously never did because it's still called the same thing as far as I know. So maybe he was Now listen to this story. Okay, so he says maybe now in the next breath he says that you did agree to change the name. Hold on, listen. to change it after all. Maybe it was just Boogie Bait. I don't know. Yeah, that yeah. was Boogie Bait, you fuck. That's what I call it. I got some tasty treats over here for you, Boogie. Boogie Bait. <laughs> uh, people who troll me now it's boogie baiting anyway it was, yeah it was we got it uh but then i i tweeted that all right he's going to change the name we're going to do it man okay so he did agree to change the name then so that whole last part was bullshit all right got it okay back down to me he's like look yeah, i was going to change it to not the biggest problem in the <laughs> 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 i like that going to change the name we're going to do it Maddox reached back out to me and he's like look man <laughs> if you do this it'll be a huge betrayal of my trust i really don't want you to do that wow on top of that i don't think your Dick good friend maddox yeah yeah i got it uh is a very good guy and i think it would be very awful for you to work with him bad for your mental health and you're already struggling and i'm like you know what all of that sounds really smart <laughs> i don't want to betray a friend and i don't want to work with somebody who would hurt wow. my mental <laughs> health wow. see all of those things are true the thing about the name is true <laughs> The thing about Maddox reaching out to me is true, and the fact that Dick is a piece of shit sometimes is also true. I'm a piece of shit sometimes too. We can all be right, um, but that's Dick's. Oh, okay, you then what's? Pussy, Boogie, just say I'm a piece of shit. Don't say. Sometimes. That's what I'm saying. Then, oh, I'm a. Well, that's what I said a minute ago. It's like, well, dude, okay, well, if he's not that big a piece, you know what I mean? If you're the same as uh, same degree piece of shit, then what's the big deal, right? Like, <laughs> he always has to equivocate, no matter what it is, even when he's talking yeah. shit. I can't believe, I cannot believe after all this time, Maddox is still reaching out to people to fuck my things up. It's fucking uh, bizarre. Yeah, it sounded like he was committed to to trying to fuck this one up. All right, let me let me finish it. Right, that's the show. That's kind of what he does. That's who he is as a person. And a perfect example, he's still defending Frank Hassel to this day. A man who said that he was coming to my house to make it the worst day of my life. His quote, I mean, this is on the Ethan Rao show. Coming to my house... <laughs> God of Conquest 91 sent $10. Show. Never forget that Boogie almost killed a friendly door-to-door -door comedian when he discharges a loaded firearm in a school zone. <laughs> oh, shit. I'll pull that up. If it's the edit that I think, I think I already know what that is. Uh, but let me, because that's one of the all-time greats. 
Uh, and it would be the worst than the day my parents molested me. His words. <laughs> He's going to rape me up my ass. He said that on my doorstep. Called me the N word. Called me Jew. Called me lesbian or like LGBTQ shit. That's the person he's defending today. And yeah, I shouldn't have fired the gun, but I should have never been in that situation to begin with. And Dick, you fucking know better. So there's a... Uh... You caused that situation by being a lesbian. Buggy. What, do you, <laughs> what do you want? You know Frank Castle hates lesbians, so you know he's going to show up and punish you. Oh, poor Boogie. Now, how did this start in the first place? Um, fuck, I don't even remember. I think... I think he was talking about his money situation. Oh no, he was saying he was saying that he was going to do a a podcast with Keemstar, and because he needs money or something like that, and everyone was making fun of him. Everyone, somebody said, "Oh, so you do one with Keemstar, but not with Dick." Uh, so I made made some comment about him. Oh yeah, and then he said, "Well, he would have done it with me, except I didn't change the name," which is bullshit. The reason he the reason he said he backed out was because he didn't want to have anything to do with our sector of the internet. After he and this was before this was before he got on a conference call with Keem and Frank Hassel and called Frank Hassel a pussy and told him to come over to his house so that Boogie could put him in a body bag for like twenty minutes. Well, yeah, he was playing that whole thing up. Honestly, um, here let me play this real quick because uh, that came in, uh, and he said he was going to kill him. Yeah, and some other things. <laughs> Richard yeah. Percival sent three dollars more like Booger. Uh, that still was. <laughs> Pretty surreal uh, when he went into <laughs> that was his, that he was the one who brought up uh, getting molested by his parents too or whatever his dad like he brought that up out of nowhere on the kill stream not the Ethan Ralph show uh, it was the <laughs> <laughs> I know it's hard to tell the difference I know, sometimes it is not the it can be show. it can be uh, I did put did the his Ethan dad make him come. <laughs> yeah. Did we? Do we know? Yeah, I think he, he um, like jacked him off or some shit. I don't know. Uh, I don't hmm. recall. We went through it uh, not that long ago on the show, but I forget what all the um, you know the blow by blow, uh, if you will, of the uh, the nitty gritty. Boogly woogly sent yeah. three dollars. Boogie is the perfect ideal of liberal values. Remember in the Hassel debate where he casually admitted yeah. he was molested as a child and engaged in a homosexual yeah. act with a friend out of a whim? Yeah, that's why when when he says that about Hassel, you're just like, oh, wow, that's crazy. You know, if you don't know the whole story, it's like, well, that's actually some material that Boogie brought to the st- st- brought to the door. I guess you could say, uh, right? Uh, this wasn't just uh, him saying that out of nowhere. Uh, it was almost as crazy as you saying it out of nowhere, right? Like, Yeah. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have got a uh, shot the gun. So he ho. Guess I shouldn't have. I guess I shouldn't have borrowed my friend's forty-four Magnum revolver and shot it at a fucking school. Whoopsie doopsie. Oh, uh, the whole warning shot. I do feel like that was a valuable public service lesson, though. That's not a thing. Max one sent three dollars. <laughs> the craziest thing about the Boogie Hassel saga was that Boogie traded his right to own guns for a weed license. I didn't even know that was a thing. No, I didn't know that either. So he got to keep his weed license. Yeah, they do have um, uh, legalized weed there. Uh, and is it not? Maybe you do have to have medical marijuana. I'm not sure if it's fully legal there um, in Arkansas. But that's funny. Uh, if so, uh, I, I don't know what he didn't do any jail time though. I don't know if he got an official felony. Is he official felon? I think I heard him say that once, and then he goes, "No, nah, I'm not even a full felon." So I don't even think he got that much. I, I think he was kind of grifting off that in the first place, right? Like. I don't think he got that much actual penalty yeah. off of him. He tried to claim he spent all this money on, you know, defense. Maybe he did. I don't know. But it always seemed kind of a little suspect. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He just got probation. I mean, I'm sure he did have to spend, you know, um, a decent amount of money, 10, 20 grand. But, like, he was talking, like, 100 grand. I mean, who did he have representing him? <laughs> Fucking Johnny Cochran or something? Like, I don't I don't know why it would. It's kind of all the facts are right there. I mean, I guess uh, maybe if he really overspent or the lawyer really had to spend a ton of time on it, but uh, he would have lost all that money on teeth coin anyway, or whatever the fuck he dumped all his money into, like a dumb asshole. <laughs> Remember, there's a video. There's a video of him where he's talking about how he got rich off crypto. Have you seen that? <laughs> yeah. I'll never have to work again. So long, suckers. Okay, hello, suckers. I'm back. <laughs> Dude, it's one of the funny. Hold on, wait. Where's the full? 
Boogie, uh, PK has a clip. Boogie 2988 begs viewers for money after going broke. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, my girlfriend was trying to look for a clip of him last night, and I was like, oh, yeah, it's Boogie uh, 1488. And she goes, oh, that's not what the internet says. And I was like, oh, shit, I forgot that that's not his actual <laughs> number. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's <laughs> uh, yeah, I actually forgot about that, too, sometimes. All right, let's see. He loses it all to crypto. Now, see, this is the one from last year. This is somebody talking about it last year. Where's the full? Now, see, that's the... Man, I want his original video. I don't know. I might have to. Boogie. Yeah, it's 2988. Let me see if that pulls it up on his channel. He's got a video. Wait. Rich guy, I need your help. I swear. I wonder if he took it down because it's not that easy to find. Um, oh, yeah. He said he did. He oh, he, he did. did. He, listened, he said, oh, I listened to the, the comments. And so I took that he uh, made a video about how he's taking his begging for money video down. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah, with the begging video. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, everybody. Sorry I was begging for money. I still need money, so I'm taking that other video down and just putting this one up in its place. Also, what good does that do? Just stick with a decision for once in your life. What in the fuck? Like, I... He's always doing that, waffling from side to side. I, first off, I didn't know Maddox put in a personal request for him not to do the show. <laughs> you know, to me, that makes it even gayer. Uh, you know, I, I thought it was just Boogie being his usually usual lazy, retarded self. Uh, I didn't actually know that Maddox, the big dog, the big guy, had put a call in. <laughs> the big, the clout monster in the imaginary world of Epsler. Is that the oh, man. I could. Oh, yeah, okay, buddy. Well, our friendship is so important to me. I'm going to go ahead and say no. And then I'm going to try to murder Frank Castle. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the other thing. It's like, I didn't know you were great friends with Maddox in the first place. Like, what in the fuck? <sighs> this is very strange. Uh, also, you're going to be at Ralphamania January 14th. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Salvo's supposed Salvo to be there. Salvo pancakes. Yes. All right. Salvo's supposed to be there. Uh, a bunch of other people. Actually, if I can find the list. Maybe I'll actually read it out now while you're here. Atlantic City going to be the base of operations. You've never been to Atlantic City. No, I haven't. Well, Vegas, though. I was just saying that to, to you personally. But there's really no reason. At first, I was kind of astonished that you hadn't been. But then I thought, well, you know, Vegas is right there next to L.A. Why would you even? <laughs> I mean, there's not really. I guess maybe if, if you're in the area. Or something like that. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, no, I can drive all my drugs into Vegas. Yeah, fine, so I don't right. need to fly to Atlantic City. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's see. Okay, the weed license. I saw that. Okay, here's the people. Uh, so, Salvo Pancakes. Paul Escondon from Cozy.TV. Most Canceled Man in America. He directed that. He's going to be there. Dick Masterson, who's on the line. Beardson. Wurzel Root. Dalton Clodfelter. Tyler Russell. Michael Cisco is going to be there. Big Tech. Kai Clips. Wooza. Tenrio. Lulz. Pansu. Pay. Ali Jamal still on the list. We'll see. We'll see what we end up doing there. And Chaggett, the world expert on autism, who I need to call him today now that I think about it. Um, are you excited to see? Chaggett I think we're going to. should fight. That's, I see Ali Jamal's uh, mm. causing a lot of problems for you, throwing your name around, yeah. starting altercations with people. Uh, I agree with Bibble's take, though. I think he's. I think he does know what he's doing enough for you to punish. Uh, yeah, he, remind uh, remind who's remind who the tail is and who the dog is in this. Yeah, in he's this using game. his uh, his autism as an excuse. I feel like um, I don't know what his deal is. Uh, I think he's supposed to be. By the way, I think he's supposed to be uh, talking to Stardust. I'm going on her show tomorrow night. Uh, Alex Stein went on there and said a bunch of bullshit, and then we came on here and ended up talking shit about Stardust. I guess she ended up seeing that because uh, she invited me on. So we'll <laughs> – so, so I'll be on – she actually – Oh, no. She invited me on. I actually saw it. I did a um, – I did a poll between her and my ex-wife uh, today. Smash her pass. Smash her pass poll. She's Pakistani descent as well. So uh, I put her. Who won? Uh, oh, well, I mean, my ex-wife, of course. But Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. That was kind of one tomorrow. of those I was torn about, though, because, you know, I don't want to see that bitch win anything, honestly. Uh, but also, it's like, <laughs> except that. Except that. It's like, okay, well, by extension, it's me winning. So, yeah, okay. I, I want to see the W. So I was a little bit torn there. Um, but uh, she did take it home. Uh, what, what's your final parting advice for Boogie? Um, well, you got to actually, uh, if you want to be a content creator, you got to actually make some content at some point. Um, I don't know nice. if this uh, crying about how you're being bullied is going to uh, pay the rent. 
So maybe uh, I think Boogie should do the Boogie should do a podcast with Vito where they just both talk about the food that they ate. You know, <laughs> like keep a log of all the food that they ate and the exercising that they didn't do, uh, <laughs> and then just read it. <laughs> read it the next week. Just come out and read it. <laughs> then just go. Yeah. I think yeah, like be. dueling mukbangs. Like they go, okay, here's what we ate Monday at lunch. All right, I had a fucking steak. And all yeah. but the most fat fuck will look at that and be like, all right, I did a little bit more than that, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and I don't know. And uh, maybe go uh, see whoever did those those teeth and see if you can get a refund. Maybe you Dude, that fucked up his out. career, man. Tell him. I talked about this before, but that literally cost him as much money as anything was getting his teeth done in a way that makes his face look unrecognizable now. He looks like a different person. Did nobody ever tell you that you want to continue looking like the same person you were when you were famous, you fucking moron? The fuck? Uh, he's got to stop blocking me. Just do, do shows. I mean, go... I know you're lying about Keemstar. This is the same as the fighting thing. Like, oh, yeah, you're going to fight Ralph. Okay, whatever, yeah, dude. Right. But you got to actually put out content, you fat retard. Yeah, remember when they had that go? I even talked to him about that. I was like, yeah, let's do it. I'm like, I'm down. Like, I don't give a fuck. I mean, I'm going to beat your ass. But he's like, yeah, I need something to, to motivate me to get in shape. And I was like, well, you know, I'm trying to lose some weight, too. Let's go. He's like, yeah, I'm training. And he was giving me updates there for a while. And then, you know, I just never hear anything from him. So, like, okay, all right. I knew that was going to happen, of course, anyway. Um, but it's like, okay, yeah, I'll fight Boogie. What the fuck? I'll go up tomorrow and fight Boogie. I don't give a fuck. Like, Boogie can barely even walk. Are you kill Are you kidding me? Like, I might kill Boogie if they put him in the ring. Like, I mean, <laughs> right? Like, he's, he's in bad shape. <laughs> if he even managed to make it to the ring, man, I'd be surprised. So You put him on somebody's back. Have him, like, uh, <laughs> have him carried on a litter side. like Cleopatra down to the ring? Yeah, maybe he could do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Put him in like a harness hanging from the ceiling. Like a, like when they get Shamu out of the tank. Put him in that thing and he can box you in that. But yeah, you're right. He should just go on the show. So, I mean, he won't do any of this, so it doesn't matter. But No. <laughs> no. <laughs> he doesn't listen to any <laughs> good advice. Uh, but Maybe uh, his dad needs to get involved and like uh, threaten to either jack him off or not jack him off. Oh. He doesn't get some of this stuff done. I don't know what the incentive is. Withhold jacking to. until he uh, <laughs> completes some, some key objectives. I think that that might actually. <laughs> I'll give you a hat jack if you get this podcast up, and I'll jack you off for every video you get up, Boogie. Let's go. Let's go, son. Let's go, son. Are you winning, son? Uh. <laughs> Let's get this boogie jack cream loaded up. <laughs> I mean, I don't even like. I don't even dislike him. I like making fun of him because he acts so retarded. But I like. I want him to not be on the street. Like, well, I, I don't want him dis- to make money to live. Well, I don't dislike him either. Every time I talk, I've talked to Boogie plenty of times in private, uh, and some of it's yeah. been wild. I won't, I've went into some of it before, but like, uh, actually, you know, I don't have anything. I like, yeah, like you said, kicking him in the face because <laughs> he's always doing dumbass. <laughs> he's always making the wrong move. Uh, yeah, well, he's more does. famous than me. He could go. Yeah. He could go and just with a simple plan, just make enough money. He sure, just doesn't do it. So it's funny to make fun of that. But he's more famous than me. So I mean, I don't know. It's, well, he always talks about this. I'm irrelevant, and you can't get known making f- like it's always this poor pity me shit. And it's like Boogie, you're as famous as anybody. What the fuck are you sitting around crying for? Get a game plan and fucking try to execute the mother. That's what I said earlier. It's not even he doesn't even try. Like it's like it'd be one thing if he had this litany of failures or something, right? Or failed shows and, and yeah, failed projects. I'm okay, mad. right. Well, that would show me he was trying. Instead, it's just oh, maybe I'll do this, and I uh, uh, guess not. And it, there's a bunch of stuff like that too it's not just it's not just y'all's proposed show and he blocks me it's like yeah i'm just like a jerk like your whole audience hates me and i hate them you know mostly like they're a bunch of whining liberal like addicted to therapy and uh people that i just like generally don't like and like uh as an entertainment product don't aggressively don't like so why are you blocking me like i'm your bread and butter dude like oh look at this guy's fucking picking on me here here, donate to my video where I talk about like how important it is to be me and go get therapy and shit. Like, don't don't turn off your don't turn me off, dude. Well, yeah, that's the thing. He should be wanting you to fuck with him. 
<laughs> yeah. uh, he should be wanting it. And also, he doesn't really have a lot of people fucking with him anyway. Like he said, uh, if anything, he should be trying to call in your show to get yelled at, uh, you know, and, and <laughs> stuff like that, right? Like, I don't... Yeah, even that red, uh, what's his name, Big Papa Epsler, who calls into your show. Like, <laughs> it's funny that you rip on, that everybody rips on it, but he knows that it's good for, sure. good for business, at least, I think. Yeah, he does, and we get, you know, I get along good enough with him that, you know, I can have him on the show, uh, usually, without, uh, <laughs> without, without throwing him off or something, you know. Uh, of course, we're not agreeing on much here, but... Uh, now, Ralph, where do you even get your morality? So what you're saying is that your morality is entirely subjective. <laughs> You don't even have a... Ralph, <laughs> <Wow. laughs> if you were a level three cleric, where would you even say your alignment lies on this graph, Ralph? Uh. So what you're saying is you're a moral relativist, and I'm a moral subjectivist. As per this diagram, if you could please turn to page 64 in your omnibus sheets. All right. Uh, it's been a while since we talked to him now that you mentioned it, I think. What was the... I can't remember. I threw him off last time. He tried to say I didn't get Hassan kicked off Twitch. That's what it was. When I obviously did, they already gave me the credit. Hassan personally did. Uh, like, why would that even matter? Why? It doesn't matter. That's what, By the way, that's the funny thing. that That's the thing that got me pissed off out of all the nonsense he said. It was just the one thing about you trying to take my petty credit when the fucker's already giving me oh, yeah. the credit. No, I can see why it pissed you yeah, off. Yeah, I yeah. just have no idea oh, well. to piss you off. I don't know why he would say it. Like, why is there it is important no other reason. to you? <laughs> there is no <laughs> other reason. He said that just to piss me off. Of course. <sighs> well, how was your Christmas, by the way? We saw you hit the uh, bullseye there before I let you go. Yeah, that was a bullseye. I was going to post a close-up because you can't really see it in that video. Uh it was good. It was good. It was early, man. Fucking kids wake up at like 5.30 on Christmas or maybe even earlier. Uh, but it was good. Well, that's cool, man. Yeah, I had a pretty good one myself. Uh, looking forward to New Year's Eve. Uh, what do you got planned for New Year's Eve? Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, I don't want to just sit around at uh, a friend's house and uh, uh, see everybody that I always see. We're trying to find a party. Down here, I saw you're starting the new, the year off with a bunch of new uh, a bunch of new beefs. That's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> well, the whole Alex Stein thing, who was going to be at Ralph Um I mean, he's obviously he's obviously pulling fake stunts. I mean, it's not even a question now. Like, uh, I, I don't see. By the way, people get really mad. It's literally like telling them wrestling's not real. It's like telling an eight year old wrestling's not real. Uh, even these days, I don't even know. Do kids? Did they? Do they believe that these days? I don't know. When I was a kid, you used to believe it. Um, and then I remember, you know, when I was first coming out, it's like, oh, no, nah, that part was fake. But this part here, this was definitely, this was definitely real. Yeah. This championship match, this championship match couldn't be fake. This AOC <laughs> thing couldn't be fake. Wait, the Crenshaw AOC stuff was completely real. That was totally real. But the Barstool said, oh, yeah, well, that was probably fake. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Charlie Kirk thing, that was real. Though. Yeah, no, was definitely, like definitely. <laughs> By the way, he'd be under the jail. if. Oh, my. Uh, uh, is he really? Is he gonna sue you? I saw that. On I don't Twitter. think I don't so. Know if that, was that was some retard uh, saying that. But it was like it was one of his goons or whatever. But I don't know if it's legit or not. I just put it out uh, there because I thought it was funny. I hope he does sue me though, because that would be another talk about storyline content <laughs> for the year. That would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stein v. Ralph. Yeah, I think. I mean, I can. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, please uh, don't. No, please don't. That'd be terrible. Stein v. Ralph for the whole year. I, that really upset my audience, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other thing. He he acts like I, he said that on the show. I don't think he even believes it, but he's like, oh, Ralph, these people have to hate me, uh, you know, because I'm Jewish or whatever, or, you know, I was mad at Baked and I had all these feuds going. I was like, first off, I never said anything cross about you i never said anything except alex Stein's great and he's funny i did believe the barstool stuff was real when i saw it on air a couple weeks ago like i wasn't faking i didn't even expect that it was work at all um some of the other stuff yeah. i didn't know that that was a a thing but now of course it makes perfect sense now with like ripping up signs in people's faces like a lot of that shit's flagrant wrestling plant stuff man like it's been going on 
forever. Especially if you're a wrestling fan. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. It's like, oh, okay, these people have been playing this the whole time. Some of the stuff where he's doing some of his most, you know, aggressive stuff, it's like, oh, okay, those people are on his team. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I got it now. Oh, that's why he's never worried. That's why he just grabs signs and rips them up, and there's never any charge or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. Mysterious. Mysterious. But they do get mad. I've gotten a lot of heat off that, to use another wrestling term. They got People just get fighting mad in my mentions about this. Literally. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty mad. They get pretty pissed. Uh, but well, uh, I hope you have a good one. That's right. Santa restocked, <laughs> restocked my cupboard with beefs for the new year. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what dad you're fighting. You're going to have like a dig sound, but it's all going to be like Gen X father. So you're going to come into the ring and fight you. Like these fucking retards that tweet like they're 13 year old girls. Like, oh, me fight, me fight Ralph next. Oh, whoa. I'm t- me training for a fight with Ralph. Ooh, woo. And then they're like in each other's fucking mentions, building, hyping them up. Yeah, me too, bro. I'm going to fight Ralph. Me fight you after Ralph. Or wink, wink, wink. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, well. Dad's against Ralph. The Dad's against Ralph League. All right, gentlemen. Today we're meeting to talk about how much we hate Ethan Ralph. A rump, a rump, a rump. <laughs> It is uh, it is somewhat bizarre. I don't know. I guess I, I need to start checking my sex, I guess, in case, uh, you know, the dad of some chick from back in the day. Like me would fuck my daughter. I can't <laughs> believe it. I, I, that's not weird, though, right, guys? That's right. I always wanted a guy more like me that I approved of to fuck my daughter. Harumph, harumph, harumph. <laughs> Let's share pictures of our daughters and then tell each other that they should have fucked a guy like us. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sounds like a cool club, guys. <laughs> I'm going to text my wife's fiance right now. Okay, that's weird. It's cool if you want to do that, though. <laughs> I'm going to tell him that he's. I approve of him putting his wiener in my daughter. Right? Let's all do it at the same time, guys. Harumph, harumph, harumph. All right. Oh, cool club. The Mickey Mouse Club, maybe. That's what they're going <laughs> Yeah, it's Mickey Mouse, all right. <laughs> D I C K E Y <laughs> and our daughters. Hooray. <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> fucking weird, man. <laughs> Dude, it's fucking crazy. Yeah, I can tell you my holiday season was a lot crazier than I had anticipated. <laughs> it At least you save on Christmas presents. That's <laughs> That's true. That's true. Extrapolate it out too, so you have to <laughs> <sighs> Savings done. The savings never end. The savings never end. <laughs> Dick Masterson. <laughs> I appreciate you calling in. What time is it there? What yeah. is it like? One. Uh, one. Yeah. Middle um, of the day. What uh? What you do on your show on Sunday before I let you go? Um, yesterday. Let's see. Yeah, we had to do a late one because. Oh yeah, John that's right. Town. It was just Should yesterday. I remember, I was. I was yelling about my New Year's resolutions. <laughs> uh, I got to do a better job of keeping good whiskey and beer in the house because I've been drinking like fucking White Claws and High Noons and gin and shit. And I've really, for like two months, it's unacceptable. Um, I'm going to start using bet like as this in my normal conversation. I know you do that. Do kids that. do that. Oh, gotta, you talked about that. I got to start. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. I didn't know. So I've been using that. It's been a slang uh, amongst, I guess, friends of mine since I was way younger in the Memphis area. But I noticed that it didn't really, I didn't see it as accepted as much. I used to have people tell me, like, what? Like, huh? When I would say bet. Uh, but I've been using that since I was, like, 18 maybe or something. But I think it's, like, more widespread now. Yeah, it's cool now. In California, yeah. kids are using it now, yeah. so i got to do that. Yeah, it's Maybe a southern thing. Hang around some kids at elementary school, just try and pick it up. I see some people in um, chat said it was a southern thing. Maybe that big in Carolina. Yeah, maybe it came from the south. That would make more sense. Um, wow, so, finally something drifted, <laughs> drifted up from the south. Um, finally, after yes. Elvis and rock and roll. <laughs> yeah, <finally>. yeah. <laughs> the yeah. south is rising again. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Well, I appreciate you calling in, uh, Boogie. I can't think of anything else to ask you. Uh, Ralph Amania, you're going to be there. So I'll yeah. see you at that. I hope Boogie unblocks me. Please unblock me, Boogie. I just want you to make money. 
Yeah, just unblock. I, mean, I know that you like getting made fun of, so. Boogie ought to come to Ralph Mania. What's his problem? I even mentioned it to him a long time ago, and he's like, yeah, I don't know. That sounds good. I don't know. Maybe. I don't maybe even... you, if you buy his second seat, maybe he'll come. <sighs> you know what? I, I'm going to message him. Maybe he should come. What about Ralpha? Ralpha Mania, Jan 14th. I'm trying to get Vito to come too. Oh, what did he say? I know he doesn't like flying, but. Oh, he doesn't? I didn't know that. Uh, well, he said that. He could just be full of shit. I don't know, but. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he said that. Did I just invent that? I don't know. I think he said something like that, or he doesn't like big events or something. Maybe he just oh, said yeah, that. Make, make sure Boogie sees uh, how much money that me and Vito made on Patreon too. I, post, I tweeted oh, that. Oh, I saw but that. He blocked me. I saw that. I was wondering. Okay. Oh, uh, well, that's what I was also saying earlier. Yeah. Why would you let Maddox cost you half a million dollars or whatever the fuck? Like, what a retard. Maddox who pretends to be a banana for 30 people. Right. Well, that would have to be like your all time mentor or something for you to agree to something like that. Right. I could see doing it if it was like one of your good friends for real, you know, uh, and they're like, hey, man, I really don't like this guy. Could you just please not? Uh, and then you say, well, oh, tough decision. I guess not. I really love Jimmy or whatever. <laughs> but, I really love money. You know? <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Vito's better than Boogie anyway. He's That's true. There. Dude, it's yeah, so much funny. better. Dude, uh, man, you said it. It's you lucked out by him not doing it. Cause, yeah. Because Boogie yeah, would have totally. first off, if it would have got any traction at all, Boogie would have went from doing what he was told in terms of you know like being ready, getting production ready, to him holding up everything, to him thinking he needs more. You know, it would have been a disaster, and then he probably would have quit after like ten episodes or some shit. Then you'd had to replace. Yeah, him. totally. Yeah, it would have just not been. It just wouldn't even be worth it at all. Uh, oh, they brought me my coffee again. I think it's the right coffee. I'm in Mexico. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, my girlfriend got me uh, tickets to Mexico for Christmas. How about oh, that? Wow. That a nice present. What a coincidence that, that <laughs> yeah. she got you those Mexico tickets. called Merida. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it seems like a nice place. I was looking at it online. Wow. Funny that. Uh, women's intuition, I guess. That's what they say. Uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty lucky. I guess. If you know anybody in that area, tell them. Like, maybe we could hang out. Yeah, well, I'll see what I can do. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can catch up. That's for later, though. That's for later. We won't, we won't spoil everything. We won't spoil everything. But, uh, Mr. Masterson, thank you for calling yeah. in this morning, sir. Yeah, see you guys. Merry right. Christmas. Merry Christmas, man. Bye. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Little Fair. Remember to like and subscribe.